Well, I'm doing something a little different today. I'm here with Paul Hoff and we're in the FAA C booth. Uh, they make driving simulators, both I guess for all of the emergency, uh, various emergency apparatus, ambulances, fire we, trucks. We have fire truck, we have rail, we have transit, we have trucks, we have police cars. Well, tell us a little bit about your system. This, this system here is, a, is what we're working with. It's called an iFire system. This is basically a fire truck or an ambulance type trainer. Okay. And what we're doing in this situation right now, we've got it set up for an ambulance. We will be going on a straight run to show what, what the normal driver would be in contention with out here, dealing with traffic, pedestrians, intersection analysis. So we're going to take you through. You All get right. an opportunity. <laughs> We'll see how I do, and uh, right. those of you at home, you may hope I'm not riding, not driving your ambulance when I'm done with this. <laughs> well, when All we right. get you through, we'll have a good opportunity to show how it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm turning All it right. on. All right, let's go ahead and crank the engine. All right. Release the parking brake, place it in drive. Okay, it's released. Now push it in. Now it needs to be pushed in. Oh. There we go. All right. Now then, we're going to go straight down the road. We'll be running op operational. Let's go to the emergency. Okay, I didn't do very well. You, well did I? No, but you, you did well in, in an aspect in here. What we're dealing with here, you have a pedestrian that's running. Okay. All right. A normal pedestrian that's standing or walking will remain in that position, but a person running is on a mission. So you have to watch and yield to those people because uh, this is possibly can be a child, it can be a person that has a hearing impairment and cannot hear the ambulance at all, and they see someone that they're trying to get to, and that, that's their main focus. Okay. So this is one thing to teach a driver that if you have a person running, you need to watch them and to, to be able to stay. Them. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and jump you back, and we're going to go ahead and redrive. All right, so let's, need to, there we go. And now we need to put it in drive. There we go. Okay, so in this instance, you did great by moving over into the center lane of the roadway, so you had an opportunity to move if you need to. All right, now the pedestrian's walking, now they're running, so you know they're on a mission. Okay, continue to watch the traffic around. There you go, excellent. All right, move around the vehicles. Keep going, don't. We run red lights in, on emergencies. Okay, all right. <laughs> After you've cleared the intersection, this we is, go. Because I'm not a medic, I don't run red lights. Yes, ma'am, I understand. Go. That's good. <laughs> Am I supposed to be signaling, I suppose? Yeah. Yes, because signaling it, uh, will set the other public and let them know where you're going. Good. All right, now we're coming up to an intersection. Traffic is slowly stopping for us. Ease on forward. All right, traffic's fairly well frozen. Good. Excellent. Woohoo! Woohoo, we got through. All right, excellent job. Okay, go ahead and shut it down. We have arrived. All right, I'm just sitting. All right, push the bottom button down. There we go. Good right. run, well, excellent. Fantastic. But you, you can see what we can put a driver through to recreate the stressful situations that they're in. Sure. Teach them the proper way to react and move the vehicle around. That saves lives on both sides of the field. Now I noticed I was doing a straightaway here. I take yeah. it we can get on the highway, we can go through curves, city, We can rural, go we anywhere can in the world all. you want to. We can put you in dirt, we can put you in swamp, we can put you in snow, ice, mud. You name it, we can do that with this system. Now, are these systems going to the fire departments and to the EMS services? Are they coming to you? How are they? No, we, we sell them and then we maintain them and we train the trainers on them. Then, then the person that buys them, the county entity, whatever out there, the state agency, whatever, they will actually be, be responsible for all of the training part of it. Do you have any data on the successfulness of this system? Well, or? I can tell you the, the company that I worked for back in Texas that in 18 months we saved them $1.3 million in auto liability claims by wow. using this machine. Fantastic. Yes, works okay. great. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. the information. Great driving. Alrighty, thanks. You're welcome.